In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to add, audition, or trigger samples in Reaper. So I'm starting off with a fresh project. With a MIDI keyboard down here, let's say we wanted to add some samples very quickly to the project. We can go up here to the View menu and choose Media Explorer. We can find all the samples on our computer. I've already set some up based on kicks, snares, claps, and so on. Let's say I wanted to add a kick sample. Maybe this one. I can right click it, go to Insert into Sample Player, and choose to insert the sample player on a new track. Choose this. It creates a new track over here with that sample using Resample Matic 5000 with the sample already on here. Now, if we wanted to trigger this sound, we could put our track into a chord and play a MIDI keyboard. And we hear that sound. We could still do this a bit quicker. So let's delete this. And instead, we could choose the Media Explorer, go up here to the Options menu on the default action for double click, and change the default to Insert Media into Sample Player on New Track. So now, if we choose this, if we double click this sample, it automatically creates this track. Again, we three sample Matic 5000 and that sample already here. But we still have to put the track into record in order to play it with our USB mini keyboard. We could skip that step. If we go to our preferences, control P on the PC, Command comma on the Mac, go to the track send defaults, and go over here to record arm new tracks. So now, if we do the same thing and double click this sample, it creates a new track, but it's already in record and set to MIDI. So if we play the USB MIDI keyboard, right away we hear that sample. But there is a problem with this method. Let's say I wanted to add a snare on top. Go to my snares. Let's choose this one and double click. That also creates a new track, but it puts that track into record along with the previous one. So now if I play my MIDI keyboard, we hear both samples and we don't want that. So instead, we can go back to the preferences. Let's turn this option off and instead, Choose the option down here. Auto record arm our tracks when they're selected. So now, if we double click our kick sample, it creates a new track and puts it into record, but it's set up to automatically be in record when we select this track. So I deselect it, it's not in record, select it, it is. So now, if we added a snare right here, it creates a new track but takes this track out of record. So now we're just hearing our snare. So if we wanted to add a clap, go right here, choose the sound, double click it, it creates a new track, puts it in record, and takes the other tracks out of record. Now we could select any track. And it's going to trigger just that one. So this is really helpful for adding tracks and samples really quickly. But what if you wanted to audition different samples along the way? Let's delete the clap track and let's program a part for the kick and snare. I'll create an item, double click it. I'll paint in some notes. Do the same for the snare. But let's delete the first one and the third one. And now we have a four in the four beat. But let's say we wanted to try different sounds. We could open up our plugin and change it from here, or open up the Media Explorer and drag different samples in, or we could right click, go to Insert into Sample Player, and reuse the active sample player. 
but this will be a really slow way to do this. Having to right click each sample we want to try, it will be much quicker if we create some custom actions. So let's open the action menu, show action list, make sure we choose in the section the Media Explorer. I want to find the shortcut for choosing the next sample by hitting the down arrow. Choose it right here, next file in directory. I'm going to create a custom action based on this action. New custom action. And we'll add to it by typing in sample player. And we'll choose insert into active sample player to be the next step in this custom action. We'll give it a name, save it. And let's do the same thing for the previous sample. We'll find the shortcut for the previous sample using the up arrow. Choose this action, create a new custom action, and add to it with the same action from before. Insert into active sample player. Put it second, name this one previous sample. Now have two custom actions to audition our samples. Next sample or previous sample. And I'll add a keyboard shortcut to each. I'll add some modifiers to the down arrow and some modifiers to the up arrow. Of course, you could choose any keyboard shortcuts you prefer. But now I can go to my kicks, choose a sound, open up this effect. So it's the active sample player. Then we can close it and just choose different samples. Hit the keyboard shortcut, and it's going to switch out that sample on the fly while we're playing. But notice as I switch my samples, the sample plays during the switch. So we can turn off this preference for previewing the sample so we don't hear it during the switch, just during our playback. Let's try the same thing with the snares. First, open up this plugin. So it's the active plugin and close it. Now we can go through our different snares and hearing each one. until we're happy with the sample we chose. So that's the quickest way I could find to add, trigger, and audition samples in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's the quickest way to add, trigger, or audition samples in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.